Hi everyone, in this video, I would like to talk about what are the different types of databases that get created after creating Citrix site. So once you launch Citrix Studio Console, on the left hand side, you see an option called configuration here. Once you click on configuration, okay, you see site settings here, okay, you, need, you see the site settings. So uh, in, my site name is Bangalore, so you will see the site information here and you see the databases that got created after creating the site. Okay, so once you select configuration under databases, you see three databases that got created. The first one is site, and the second one is logging, and the third one is monitoring. Okay, so this is also an interview question. Some interviewers like to ask, okay, what are the three types of databases you know that get created after creating a site? You should say that site, logging, and monitoring. Okay, so these are some things that you need to keep in mind. At any point in time, if you want to you know change, if you want to configure it to a to a different uh, SQL Server. In that case, what you need to do is you need to select it. Okay, you need to select, and you see an option called Change Database here. Okay, on the right hand side under Monitoring. So you need to click on Change Database. Okay, once you click on Change Database, you see Server Location here. So it is uh, Controller Backward Slash SQL Express. So if you want to change it, you need to remove this, and you need to configure a different SQL Server. Okay, and you can also give the uh, database name here. Okay, so example is my database name. So you can give any database name just for reference. So if you do not have permission to edit this database, generate a script to give to your database administrator. So if you don't have permissions to you know edit this database, in that case, you need to click on generate database script. Okay, you need to click on generate database script. So once you click on uh, generate data database script the script gets created and you need to give this information you need to share this with your database administrator so in production environments so you will not be handling a database you have a separate team so you need to generate the script and you need to uh, you know share this uh, script with your database team and they're going to run the script on the sql server okay so they have complete permissions to it and they're going to do this task all right so this is what i would like to share in this particular video I, ho I hope you find this information helpful thank you for watching i will catch you in the next video Bye bye